You can't fart in the sacred pig sheep compound. That's not in your job description, Mr. Shepherd. All right, survivors, welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft 1.9. We are back here at Heidi Hole with uh, Ragnar the Pink, the ferocious Icelandic sheepdog, and of course our newly uh, kidnapped, Aww. I mean um, recruited Shepherd, Mr. Shepherd here. And we had, yeah, well, okay, yes, we kidnapped him. Let's just come right out and say it. We kidnapped him from a desert village far to the, where was it, west? Yes, to the west. Brought him back here, and he will be uh, the caretaker of our sacred pink sheep there behind me. You can see them in that little pen over there. So, yeah, he's going to be kind of like the babysitter. Take care of you don't, Yes, you will. And you won't have any choice about it. Anyway, so what we're going to do today right now is actually build up a lovely big pen. A compound, even. A, uh, a luxury compound for the sacred pink sheep so that they can spread their wings, their you know, hooves or whatever the hex they has. And uh, we're going to do it right here around these acacia trees, that lovely pond. And they have all this nice grazing area. And then we're going to plant some trees in there, some uh, some of their favorite birch trees. That's what they like. That's where we found them, right, in a birch forest. Um, in fact, I found two more sacred pink sheep. They're out there. we got to go fetch them and bring them back here. But we're going to get our initial five over here all nice and comfy. Aww. And then we're going to uh, put Mr. Shepherd in charge of their care. Having said that, and without further ado, let us begin on this project. Aww. So the first thing we're going to do is use our lovely birch fence here. You want to come along? Aww. Sure, okay, you can help. Just don't get in the boat. We're not going sailing today. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is set up the perimeter fence. Aww. I knew it. What did I just say? No sailing today. Ragnar doesn't like to build. He just likes to raid. <laughs> but we have to get these sacred pink sheep in a lovely, comfortable compound. That is a priority. They're so cramped in there. Look at them. So we're going to uh, we're gonna get them in here ASAP. You know what we're going to do is put a... We're going to have a gate here. Let me just put the gate up. A double gate. No! No, 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 no. I don't want to do this in the rain. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I can't sleep because it's not nighttime. All right, I guess we're just going to have to do it in the rain. I think I'm going to have another gate over here. Um, I'm not really sure exactly where the gates are going to go, if I'm going to use double or single gates. So I think what I'm going to do is just eh, just stuff them in there for now. Um, and we'll, we'll figure it out later. Now, with the storm... We could have some monsters spawning in, so gotta keep my eyes open. It's okay, it adds a little excitement to it, doesn't it? As soon as the sun goes down, we'll sleep it off. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough fence. I know I'm not good with math. It was just a, a guesstimate. I'm good at guesstimating. But actually... Whoa! That was darn close! Ho oh, ho In fact, once we put the uh, birch fence gates in, I think we're gonna have, uh... Yeah! We're gonna be right on the money. Although, you know what I'm thinking? Is maybe moving this back a little bit to give the sheep, uh, like a, a, a ledge, a lip to climb up on so that I can look them in the face. Because if they're all down below, I'm not gonna be able to do that, huh? Alright, tell you what, let's make a few more fences. So yeah, today's going to be kind of a calm day. Um, no raiding, no fighting. Oh, well, we might fight. Depends. If something comes out and wants to fight, I'll certainly uh, take him up on that challenge. But <laughs> I don't even have my armor on. I took it off. My shield's right here. This is hot work right here, man. All right, guys. I'm back in Heidi Hole. I decided to wait for the night so I can sleep off this rain. I don't like working in the rain. It's too slippery. I keep dropping fences and stuff, so here we go. Go to bed. There. I want this compound to be perfect. Can't have any mistakes. Okay. There we go. That looks good. Two gates here. And we need the double gates to get the horses in. Sheep don't need double gates, but um, the horses do. Alright, perfect. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to bring this out a little bit as well. Because I want a gate here to get the uh, the horses and the donkeys. Yes, including you, Jackie. 
And this will allow our sacred pink sheep to come up and nuzzle. We'll be face to face, which you'll see in a moment. We're going to go bring them in and let them loose. They're going to go hog wild. Well, not hog wild. Sheep wild, if that's such a thing. <laughs> Let's do the same over here on this side. Only a single gate on this side, just for me, myself, and I. Oh, well, and the sheep, of course, but we can always just ride the horses around to that gate. We can also put a carpet up on top. That's a, uh, a trick. If you put a piece of carpeting up on the top of the fence, you can basically ride right over it with the horses. I don't really like the way it looks, so I'm probably not going to do it. I prefer using gates. The way they were meant to be used. That's right, Ragnar. Properly. So yeah, sorry for the lack of excitement in this episode. I think most of you guys prefer me going out on adventures and fighting and singing um, Viking style, but, but I don't really have an exciting adventure planned for the day. This is pretty much it. Now what happened to your gate? Oh, I moved it over here. Okay. Only because I don't have time, really. So, oh wait, guys, wait. I can't let you in yet. There's, there's more to do. Okay, I think what we're going to do next is have some of this lovely bread that we stole from your village. <laughs> That's good. It's a little stale. It's been a few days. Um, but let's go ahead and now, okay, now the fun begins. I like the detail work. I don't like building structures and things like that, but I do like to decorate and I like adding props. So this is the fun part for me. And I'll show you what we're going to do here. All right, guys, I've got everything we need for the next phase of this project, and that is to decorate and grow some trees in here for the sacred pink sheep to find shade under and rub their uh, their butts against, because I think sheep like to do that, don't they? I don't know. Maybe that's bears. So what we're going to do is plant birch trees. I have several birch sha saplings. Shovel shaplings here, and we're gonna grab some bone meal, and we're gonna grow them up. So that looks like a good spot, huh? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Wow! Oh, only one? Ooh, that was easy. Sometimes it takes more than one, but that's just a little birch tree. That's okay. That's okay. I like the fact that these are natural-born trees, and not the kind that I could actually build up with uh, with the wood, birch wood. I could make them. I could fake it and make my own, but. Well, first of all, that takes too long. And secondly, I do like these growing up naturally. And organically. Because I think they look nicer than anything I could make. Okay. You know, and I shouldn't say that I don't like building. I actually, I do like to build. Uh, to a degree, I like to build. Um, but I enjoy this kind of work much more than actually building. And I have a hard time building on camera. Because I can't really think... Oh, oh see, that was, that, was, that was a tough one. Oh, that's just a little mini tree. Oh, that's nice. We have, we have, we have the level effect. <laughs> Gotta love the level effect. Little, medium, tall. And I think I'm gonna put one more. Um, yeah, so I have a hard time coming up with commentary and concentrating on the build. It's just a thing I have. <laughs> it's terrible disease. And I can't rid myself of it. All right, and last one. One, two, three, three. Okay, that's good. And is that... It's about the same size as that one back there. Okay, cool. I like that we have different size trees. And I think the other thing I'd like to do is change all the leaves to the, uh, to the pink wool like we have over there. Make it look like pink trees. That's going to take some time. And I don't think I'm going to do that right now. But what I would like to do before we move everybody over... What was that? Oh. Oh, there's a donkey down here in the pond, too. You guys can climb out, you know, right over here. I made a nice wide staircase. Whatever. Everybody needs a bath once in a while, I suppose. Um, yes, you you guys need baths. <laughs> you guys stink. It's okay. Mr. Shepard's going to take care of that. I thought I heard footsteps. Mr. Shepard's going to take care of your baths. He's going to give you all a little sponge bath once in a while. It's going to be so awesome. He doesn't sound very excited about it, does he? <laughs> Too bad. All right, now let's grab some peonies. 
We have some pink tulips and some allium. And we can do the bone meal magic with the peonies and the lilacs. Oh yeah, we have lilacs too. And we can make more. And I'm thinking... Deer, is it getting dark already? Is that just me? No. Let's put the peonies. Put a peony here and a peony... Oh, no, 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 no. And a peony here. And now we can take our... Let's put a lilac between them. Like that. That'll look nice, huh? And we do the same on the other side. But, oh no, I'm all out of peonies and lilacs. No, I'm not. Bloop. <laughs> Bloop. Just feed him some bone meal. It's like miracle grow. Instant growth. That is so awesome. I love it. Okay, and now I think what we'll do is throw some tulips and some peonies around here. Uh, we should probably make some grass, too. That way we can have some nice tall grass. For, whoops! No, no, no! Sheeps do not eat bones! Nice tall grass for the sheeps to graze upon. And let's get rid of the yellow flowers and the white flowers. We only want um, pink flowers. Tulips. Oops. Get Daisy out of here. And these alliums, which really aren't pink. They're close enough. Let's get us some of this grass. It's too much grass. Bone meal trick doesn't work on little flowers. There. It's too bad. Uh, you know what? It's getting dark. I'm going to go to bed. Get the sun back up. And then we're going to release the sacred pig sheep into the new um, luxury compound. So hang on tight. Hold up. Ah! Whoa, you scared me. Sheesh came right at me. Mr. Shepard. Mm. This bread is delicious. Compliments to the chef back at your village. Please, if you ever go and... Well, actually, you're not... No, you're never going home. That's right. Hang your head. But maybe your your friends will come and visit you here. But like I told them before I left, uh, we do have visiting hours uh, on the weekends only, okay? But not during work hours. Is that fair enough? Good. Okay, good. All right. Now, let's... Uh, <laughs> I think that's fair. Uh, let's put all this stuff away. We don't need it anymore. And now I think we're going to go get... The sheeps. Why did I have pink carpet out here? I wanted to use this for something, but I don't remember exactly what. I remember, I remember now. Hold on. Hold on. I remember. I wanted to give them uh, little blankies here. Beach blankies. Yeah, little beach blankets. They're going to have to share. I only have two beach blankets. And they can go swimming in the water here, take a bath, and then uh, just, you know, catch some rays outside of the shade. Yeah, outside of the shade. We'll put another one here. There we go. Three beach blankets, okay? <laughs> Perfect. They gotta love this place. Let's go find out. Let's go get them. Now is the time. We can lead them right here with, here with wheat. We don't want to use ropes on the sacred pink sheep. That would be terrible. It would be blasphemy. That's right, blasphemy. Come on, you who over there. Who do we have here? We have, let's see if I remember everybody's name. We have Dahlia, AKA Dolly. We have Magnus. We have uh, Floyd, Cheryl, and Petunia. And we have Penny back um, across the ocean to the south, I think, right? We have to go back and get her. And then I've got two more, as I had mentioned moments ago, over in that direction. And we'll go fetch them. That's gonna give us, what, eight? According to my calculations. Not so good with math. Anybody? Anybody? What's five plus three? Eight. Okay, good. I got it. <laughs> all right, here you go, guys. I should have had you all. Oh, you want some? Oh no, you can't have this. It's not even. It's not even processed. It's just raw. It's right out of the ground. This is what you want. The good stuff. Sprinkled it with sugar. Over here. Oh, you can eat the grass right off the ground. That's that's fine too. <laughs> Guys, come on, check it out. Look, 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 look. Come in here. Come in here. In the water. You guys don't know how to take baths. That's fine. I'm going to go get Mr. Shepard right now, and he's going to show you how to do it. I'm going to give him all a sponge bath right now. Here we go. Over here, Mr. Shepard. Look at me. Uh, you're going in now, okay? We're going to have to make a hole in the fence for Mr. Shepard, I think. Hopefully he doesn't run away. Okay. Oh, Ragnar runs away. Get in there. Get in there, Mr. Shepard. Your first day on the job. If you fail, you get executed. That's how we do it around here. Oh my gosh, where are you going with the sheep? That's not how it works. 
No, 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 no. Come on out. Oh, gosh. I hope I don't kill anybody with my axe. I probably shouldn't swing my axe. One hit and it would kill them. There we go. You're out. You're free, Mr. Shepherd. You can stay here and take care of the sheep. Now, there's one problem I just thought of, like, just now. Zombies. Zombies. Zombies can still get this guy. If he... If he decides to get over by the fence when zombies are around. We're gonna have to give him a little shack. Yes, a little shack with a door. So then at night, he'll climb in there and stay away from the zombies. Um, yep, that's what we're gonna have to do. I should have thought about that earlier. Mr. Shepherd, these, yes, that, sh these shears right here, the sacred shears, the only ones that you use to shear the sheep, okay? You do have to clip them now and again so the hair doesn't get too long. Wool. Right. All right, so I'm gonna go now. You're on your own. Make sure that you uh, read the employee manual. Oh, wait a second, there is no employee manual. Well, just take care of the sheep. If you don't, you die. That's as simple. That's it. That's all. And I think what I might do right now is make him a shack, guys. I gotta get some wood and get that rolling right away. Um, yeah, so hold on tight. I think I'm just gonna do that off camera real quick. Ragnar! Yoo-hoo! Up here! Turn around! I'm in the tree. Look up. <laughs> the pink tree rags. Yeah. No, this. Yes, here I am. You found me. Good job. It's the only pink tree around. I just d demolished that pink tree over there. Well, not fully, but got some of it. All right, guys. So I have dismantled the pink tree that was over here in the old sacred pink sheep paddock. And I'm moving white sheep in. Just regular old peasant sheep. Come on, Ragnar. Come on out of there. Do not fraternize with these peasants <laughs> because Mr. Shepherd over there has another very uh, useful skill and that is we can trade with him for white wool or give him white wool for uh, for emeralds unfortunately he doesn't take the sacred pink wool which I suppose is a good thing I don't want to trade away my sacred pink wool I mean it is sacred after all However, I was tempted. I did try, and it didn't work. <laughs> you can only give him white. All right, so you guys eat up. Make more white wool, please. All right, guys, I think I have collected all of the uh, common, ordinary, non-sacred pink sheep sheeps in the area. This is the last one, this little gray fella. Oh, I didn't mean to attach you to my ropes. Let go. And I think we now have enough. At least right now. Actually, I'm going to make you white. There you go. And give me all your wool, everybody. I'm back. Man, these guys grow wool nice and fast. I love it. And while we're here, let's make us some babies. Well, you guys, not me. Here you go. Make babies. Make babies. Make little babies. There we go. We can't we can't share the babies. No, no, you don't, you little guy. Oh, you wanted the wheat? Oh, okay. One piece. There, if you can get it. Oh, you couldn't get it, could you? Here you go. Get it. Go on, it's yours. You, there in front. Now, let's get back over here and see Mr. Shepherd. And... Oh, you guys want to eat? You can't eat. Because you guys cannot procreate. I don't want a bunch of little sacred babies running around. Maybe someday. I don't know. I think we should keep them all pure. This is my, this is my, uh, this is my thought. Anyway, Mr. Shepherd. I have some white wool for you, you picky little stinker. There we go. Lovely. See, he won't take the pink. <laughs> Same to you, buddy. Now, let's see what opens up here. <laughs> you can't fart in the sacred pink sheep compound. That's not in your job description, Mr. Shepherd. <laughs> uh, he didn't think that was very funny. Oh, great. Are you kidding me? You're going to give me wool? Well, he is a shepherd after all. Yellow wool, green wool, lime wool, pink wool. Fake pink wool. It's the fake stuff. Wow, look at this. You can get any colored wool you want from him. Listen, I'm not interested in wool. <laughs> I'm interested in your emeralds. So that's great. We're going to have a nice supply of more green emeralds. More lovely green emeralds so we can buy more magical books from the librarians that we are going to go and kidnap soon enough. However, for now, we are done here, folks. I think the last thing I might do is finish up these trees. How many more wool do I have? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do all that off camera. I want to get all these trees pink, pink eyes. Um, and then I think that'll look much nicer inside there. 
So, yeah, let me do that and then build up a shack. I might do it off camera and just show you guys next episode or maybe... Oh, gosh, it's getting late. we got to jump in bed quick. I don't want Mr. Shepard to get eaten by zombies. All right, guys, I just built Mr. Shepard a brand new shack. You want to try it out? Come on, sun's going down. Try it on for size. Here, I'll open the door for you. Get in there. It's nice and safe and secure. I don't want the zombies to get you. You need to take care of these sheep. Tell you what, maybe he's a little confused. Let's do this. Let's put a sign up. Employees only. And there's only one employee here, Mr. Shepard. Uh, okay. You want some decoration, apparently. All right, let's put, um, so you don't forget your job. There, there you go. I knew that's what you wanted. He just wanted the secret pink wool inside to provide him with power from the pink sheep clan. Perfect. All right. And this is the last, this is the last of that bread, by the way. We're going to have to make another uh, raid over to your village and get some more. It's delicious. There's got to be more, right? Mm. Oh, it's good. Oh, that's it. Last piece. Okay. Now, hopefully you don't get et in there. Just stay inside. Okay. I gave him a little window, too. Let's go look through the window. Ragnar, come on. Let's go say goodnight to Mr. Shepard. Come. What do you mean? Skeleton. There's a... Oh, there's a cave down here. Ooh, you sniffed him right out. Good night, Mr. Shepard. We'll see you in the morning. Your work begins at sun up, and it ends at sundown, okay? In case I didn't tell you. A few more hours, and then you can come out. Oh, hi. We're going to have to raise this up a little bit, huh? Because I can't really see you. Yeah, maybe we'll raise the shack up. Another block. We can do that. Just give him a step up. Okay. Well, that's it for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to head inside and call it a night. I'm pooped after that building project. Uh, all right. We're done here for the day for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you uh, next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>